Close to 400 World War II veterans die each day. It's estimated that by the year 2036, there will no longer be any living World War II veterans left to recount their experiences. That's why today, the 75th anniversary of the end of that brutal campaign is so meaningful to many. World War II was the deadliest conflict in human history. 30 countries, 85 million fatalities. It ended when the atomic bomb was dropped on Nagasaki in August 1945. In the tradition of the countries I represent. On September 2nd of that year, Japan signed surrender documents on the deck of the American battleship USS Missouri. War is an ugly business. 75 years to the day. But that's what we're here for. This man. Born in 25, drafted in 43. These eyes. The majority of my company and the majority of our regiments were decimated. Saw it all. November 14th, 1944. Never forget it. He recalls the horror. My best buddy was on my right side and my other squad mate was on the left side. They were both killed. My squad leader was captured. Assistant squad leader was killed. Seven out of 12 men in my squad were killed. United States Army Staff Sergeant Bob Tesmer, maybe 95. I do pretty good in the memory department. But as one listens to him. We could not use aircraft or tanks because of the heavy woods. And even artillery was ineffective. You'd swear you're alongside the 19-year-old Tesmer. When you're an infantryman, the only thing that you see is what's immediately in front of you and your weapon fighting on the front lines. I have no idea how long the battle went on between throwing grenades and shooting the advancing Germans. Defending our freedom. Peace Marshal hit the top of my helmet and put a, about a half inch deep dent in it, into it. I would have been dead without the helmet. Primary source accounts like these are fading fast. Most took them to their grave. I found it very hard to talk about the war. This highly decorated infantryman did the opposite. I found it to be a catharsis. He put his into a memoir. It was like taking it off my heart and putting it on the paper and getting rid of it. So that future generations can never say they didn't get to know the greatest generation. We had to do our duty. Brent Ashcroft, 13 on your side.